and welcome to my Dragon Age Inquisition Trophy Run, where I attempt to get every single trophy in this game in one playthrough. Currently, I'm in the middle of the In Your Heart Shall Burn quest, and I was so focused on keeping my experience low that I completely overlooked how difficult this quest is going to be on level 4 in Sunny. Basically, my characters are to hit kill, and with travel light there are no potion caches in the game. So I've decided to forego any battle from now on and simply run through the quest without killing any enemies. However, I do want to save some of the Haven characters and I'll do as much as I can without killing and experience. Now well beyond making sense. Everyone to the gates! Chantry. It's the only building that might hold against that beast. At this point, just make them work for it. Haven must evacuate to the Chantry! I hear a voice. Watch out! The flames will reach the boats! We're losing people. Another dead! We're losing people! He tried to stop a Templar. The blade went deep. He's going to die. What a charming boy. Harold, our position is not good. That dragon stole back any time you might have earned us. I've seen an archdemon. I was in the Fade, but it looked like that. I don't care what it looks like. It's got a path for that army. They'll kill everyone in Haven. The Elder One doesn't care about the village. He only wants the Herald. If you know why he wants me, just say it. I don't. He's too loud. It hurts to hear him. He wants to kill you. No one else matters, but he'll crush them. Kill them anyway. I don't like him. 
You don't like... Harold. There are no tactics to make this survivable. The only thing that slowed them was the avalanche. We could turn the remaining trebuchets, cause one last slide. We're overrun. To hit the enemy, we'd bury Haven. We're dying, but we can decide how. Many don't get that choice. Yes, that. Chancellor Roderick can help. He wants to say it before he dies. There is a path. You wouldn't know it unless you'd made the summer pilgrimage, as I have. The people can escape. She must have shown me, Andraste must have shown me, so I could t tell you. What are you on about, Roderick? It was whim that I walked the path. I did not mean to start, it was overgrown. Now, with so many in the Conclave dead, to be the only one who remembers, I, I don't know. If this simple memory can save us, this could be more than mere accident. You could be more. I can bury an army, stop them from following. But that thing is flying. It won't stray from the Elder One. He's here for you. Leaving you no escape. Perhaps you will surprise it. Find a way. Inquisition. Follow Chancellor Roderick through the Chantry. Move! Herald, if you are meant for this, if the Inquisition is meant for this, I pray for you. They'll load the trebuchets. Keep the Elder One's attention until we're above the tree line. If we are to have a chance, if you are to have a chance, let that thing hear you. If there's one thing I know, it's how to get an asshole's attention. I know I said I'm not going to kill any enemies, but apparently on Insanity this is uh, pretty much impossible. There should be a potion cache in here, but of course there isn't, because the trial is on. no fighting team a chance and it doesn't work not on nightmare not on this uh, lower level there simply are too many enemy the farthest i got was the middle of crank 4 and even that was uh, with an incredible amount of luck so i have decided to turn off travel line which is the trial that removes all uh, supply caches just for this battle because at this point it's pretty much impossible to move forward
just reached level 5 and I'm really not certain if the trial was uh, below level 5 or at level 5. So I'm going to push forward until sky hold and see what happens. Pretender, 
You toy with forces beyond your ken no more. Whatever you are, I'm not afraid. Words mortals often hurl at the darkness. Once they were mine, they are always lies. Know me. Know what you have pretended to be. Exalt the Elder One. The will that is Corypheus. You will kneel. You'll... you'll get nothing out of me! You will resist. You will always resist. It matters not. I am here to anchor. The process of removing it begins now. It is your fault, Herald. You interrupted a ritual years in the planning, and instead of dying, its purpose. I do not know how you survived, but what marks you as touched, what you flail at rifts, I crafted to assault the very heavens. And you used the anchor to undo my work. The God. to bring certainty where there is none. For you, the certainty that I would always come for it. I once breached the Fade in the name of another to serve the old gods of the Empire in person. I found only chaos and corruption, dead whispers. For a thousand years I was confused, no more. I have gathered the will to return under no name but my own to champion Wither to Winter and correct this blighted world. Beg that I succeed, for I have seen the throne of the gods, and it was empty. <laughs> the anchor is permanent. You have spoilt it with your stumbling. So be it. I will begin again. Find another way to give this world the nation and God it requires. And you, I will not suffer even an unknowing rival. You must die. You expect us to surrender and kneel. We will not. You'll face us all, when we choose!
world. Nothing. Recent? Thank the Maker! What would you have me tell them? This isn't what we asked them to do. We cannot simply ignore this. We must find a way. And who put you in charge? We need a consensus or we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're hobbled. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say it could. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. Well, we're agreed on that much. Shh. You need rest. They've been at it for hours. They have that luxury thanks to you. The enemy could not follow. And with time to doubt, we turn to blame. Infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. Do we know where Corypheus and his forces are? We are not sure where we are, which may be why, despite the numbers he still commands, there is no sign of him. That, or you are believed dead. Without Haven, we are thought helpless. Or he girls for another attack. I cannot claim to know the mind of that creature. Only his effect on us. The only thing yelling gets us is a headache. Another headache. They know. But our situation, your situation, is complicated. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand and fall. And now we have seen her return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear, and the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure. What we perhaps must come to believe. You saw Corypheus. What do you think of his claims of assaulting the heavens? Scripture says magisters to winter servants of false old gods entered the Fade to reach the Golden City, seat of the Maker. For their crime, they were cast out as darkspawn. Their hubis is why we suffer blight, and why the Maker turned from us. If such is the claim of this Corypheus, he is a monster beyond imagining. All mankind continues to suffer for that sin. If even a shred of it is true, 
all the more reason Andraste would choose someone to rise against him. I escaped the avalanche. Barely, perhaps, but I didn't die. Of course, and the dead cannot return from across the veil. But the people know what they saw. Or perhaps what they needed to see. The Maker works both in the moment and in how it is remembered. Can we truly know the heavens are not with us? Whatever the rest of you say, I felt no divine aid at the Conclave or Haven. The struggle ahead seems mine alone. Faith may have yet to find you, but it has already found them. A word. A wise woman, worth heeding. Her kind understand the moments that unify a cause. Or fracture it. The orb Corypheus carried, the power he used against you, it is Elven. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. I do not yet know how Corypheus survived. Nor am I certain how people will react when they learn of the orb's origin. All right. What is it, and how do you know about it? They were foci, used to channel ancient magics. I have seen such things in the Fade, old memories of older magic. Corypheus may think it to Vinter. His empire's magic was built on the bones of my people. Knowing or not he risks our alliance, I cannot allow it. They'll have to set aside blame while freezing is their first concern. We are agreed on that, and I may have a solution. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed... changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide.
There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow. I finally got it. So it seems it was at level 5, not below. They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus. What drew him to you? This isn't more about me being divinely touched, is it? I won't ask you to believe. Whether it's true or not, that's not why you're here now. Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader, the one who has already been leading it. You. Perhaps I didn't hear you correctly. A mage at the head of the Inquisition. Not a mage. You. I happen to be a mage. I will not pretend no one will object, but times are changing. Perhaps this is what the Maker intended. There would be no Inquisition without you. How it will serve, how you lead, that must be yours to decide. about a greater message. We have an enemy and we have to stand together. We'll do what is right. The Inquisition will fight for all of us. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? <laughs>
So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Corypheus wants to restore Tevinter. Is this a prelude to war with the Imperium? I get the feeling we're dealing with extremists, not the vanguard of a true invasion. Tevinter is not the Imperium of a thousand years ago. What Corypheus yearns to restore no longer exists. Though they would shed no tears if the South fell to chaos, I'm certain. Corypheus said he wanted to enter the Black City. ...that this would make him a god. He is willing to tear this world apart to reach the next. It won't matter if he's wrong. What if he's not wrong? If he finds some other way into the Fade? Then he gains the power he seeks, or unleashes catastrophe on us all. Could his dragon really be an archdemon? What would that mean? It would mean the beginning of another blight. We've seen other than Corypheus himself. Perhaps it's not an archdemon at all, but something different? Whatever it is, it's dangerous. Commanding such a creature gives Corypheus an advantage we can't ignore. Someone out there must know something about Corypheus. Unless they saw him on the field, most will not believe he even exists. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. In that strange future you experienced, Empress Selene had been assassinated. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army. An army he'll bolster with a massive force of demons. Or so the future tells us. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Uh, everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. She's crossed paths with Corypheus before, and may know more about what he's doing. She can help. I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Uh, parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately, on the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated. Well, then. We stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inquisitor. I know one thing. If Varric has brought who I think he has, Cassandra is going to kill him. <laughs>